guys. Mm. You guys are the ones that all nation, all African nation is waiting for, for African unity. But because you think that you're better, I mean, what am I doing? I'm not from Africa. Oh, it's so dirty. Oh, what am I doing there? I'm not going to run behind monkey. That's why you see black people are not united. Because we're waiting for our gods. Not that why Jesus is showing to all. Our gods, the African Americans, are our gods to lead us to freedom. You guys are the original sons and daughters of the United States of America. You guys are the original owner. You guys are the original inventors of this world. Everything in this world, the black American mm. developed it before he even went down mm. to Africa. You all really need to do some research. Christopher Columbus came there. The only thing he saw that black people were narcissistic and egocentric, that they don't care about what happened on the other side. They were just developing and building, you know, wonderful things. He said, oh, I can use this against them. He thought he landed in Africa. When Christopher Columbus discovered, uh, described the people he discovered here, straight black people. But because of the narcissistic and egocentric ways, he went down to Africa, brought slaves, and dehumanized them. In front of the black Americans that were here, they could not say anything. They could not intervene because they felt like it was not their people. It was not them. So what you doing was, I don't care what you do. That's not my baby. I'm, I'm thinking about building skyscraper. You thinking about, you know, treating human beings like that. They didn't care. But they didn't know that a white man had a plan. The dehumanization of African men in America was a target trigger to include all blacks in America and say that all blacks in America were once slaves and brought from Africa here as slaves. They started taking the black people's lands, taking that invention from them. Because we didn't like each other and we don't like each other. We tease Africans when they come here, we tease them. Oh man, you speak, you talk funny. How you look at that? Man, I don't fuck with African. I'm Indian. Uh, I'm, I'm not African. You are not African, yes. Because you are our gods, the original gods, the freedom of black, the freedom of the world rests in your hands. But y'all don't want to accept that, eh? Jesus Christ. My people chose, uh, same blood like as Moses. We the people that walk through that ocean. We the people the most I done chosen. We gotta keep the commandments, yeah. Got all them ships and we landed here. Yeah. Cause we got curse from the man upstairs. We don't put faith on the man over here. Only put faith on the most I. I'm from the city with most that. Do the run in me 28, oh my. We gotta love on each other. I'm sister and a brother. You cook, I'm in no time. Most I let me up when it's showtime. I pray you have mercy upon mine. Don't wanna be around when it go down. No, no. We the chosen one, 12 tries, we gon' overcome. Babylon, no, it's overdone. Look what they did to the chosen one. Keep the commandments for real. Stick together, cause it's about to get real. Love each other, I don't care how you feel. Forgive your brother, you could die, go to hell. Shalom. My people, we the chosen of God. We're supposed to have each other back. Let's come together, everybody be flexing. Ain't nobody out finessing. Start someone love, then we all gon' be blessed. We as one nation, don't throw up no sense. From someone that love from the east to the west. So helping each other, then we will not stress. Uh, my people don't know that they chose it, uh, my people don't know that they're special, uh, gotta elevate to other levels, uh, we got a ball like we the rose, uh, my people don't know that they chose it, uh, my people don't know that they're special, uh, gotta elevate to other levels, uh, we got a ball like we the rose, uh, uh, Shalom, shalom, Yashirah. I want to start off first things first, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Raha Kadash, fellow Hebrew tongues, created as a heavenly father, son of the Holy Spirit, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, and shalom to sister brothers of his truth, and shalom to the brothers and sisters listening and standing show themselves approved, shalom. Now, as you did see in that video, hey, that Hamite said a mouthful. He said, we looking for y'all to step back in rulership, then we can get freedom. Little do you know, we waiting on Yahweh Bashiach to put the power in our hands. But you can hear the heathen are raging. And he, you see, like this knowledge is going forth. That Hamite called 
the so-called white man Esau by his true nationality. So he probably been watching the lessons, the videos, you know. He now know the truth. He now know he called us the gods, you know, the sons of the God of Yahweh. So he knows the gospel. He know more than your average two-third Jake know. As I said, you need to do some research. You need to do something. And they need to do some research. Then they'll know the truth. You know, Esau ain't slick. He's been exposed on a high level right now. And when I'm looking at this, I can tell this devil's about to come out of power. The heathen. I've also been on YouTube. I've heard of Ishmael, which is your Middle Eastern, say the same thing. I've heard of Moabite say the same thing. And now I'm hearing a Hamite say the same thing. So these heathen nations are now like, they're tired of Esau. They're sick of Esau. They have identified who the problem is, who the real cancer is, and they're now calling on us to get in our steed and call on Yahweh because they're only going to listen to us and get back in power. That way, the world can be back in harmony. It can be back in peace. So the heathen is raging. That's all been prophesied in our Bible, in our book, and it said that this will happen. That's what we had in prophecy. There's no further ado. Let's get to the scriptures. Let's get to the, let's start, I'm going to start off with Psalms 2 and 1, because what we heard was a heathen raging, he's angry, he's upset, and check it out, this is Psalms 2 and 1, it says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? And now we know why, I can, we can answer that question, because the wicked are in rulership, and the wicked love vanity, Every the wicked prides vanity, everything that don't mean nothing is worthless, or is no good, or is for destruction, Esau promotes that. All you got to do is look at the alphabet agenda, uh, all his uh, sorcery, witchcraft, which goes into pharmacia, which is his pharmaceuticals, his medicine, which is poison, uh, he's poisoned the food, he's poisoned the air, and he's poisoned uh, the water. So that's why, man, because of this damn devil's in rulership. That's why the heathen's raging. You look at Ishmael, Esau went right through there, and plowed through over there, Afghanistan, Pakistan, uh, all those Middle Eastern countries took their poppy fields. He only kept Saudi Arabia intact because he bought their oil, and he just ran through them. He already ran through him. Africa is totally in a subjection to Esau. The French, you know, which the British, America, everybody, Africa got all the natural resources to, like, Plymouth and take care of the whole world, and who takes advantage of it? Esau does. Esau keeps them fighting each other. Like, Ham has figured out who the problem is. And it's Esau. Esau has to go. Esau should not be in rulership. We supposed to be in rulership. But for us to get back in rulership, we got to do what? We got to make a petition back to Yahweh Shah. We got to show ourselves approved. You know, we got to beg for that tender mercy. We got to beg them to take us back up. And, like, you know it's bad when the heathen calling for that. Ham don't give a damn. Ham like, hey, man, I'm ready for... You know, my African-American brothers and sisters started back ruling, man. We're not going to have no freedom, no peace to y'all back ruling. And Ishmael feel the same way. Moab, which is your Asian, your Chinese, they feel the same way. And Ammon, which is your Japanese, they feel the same way. All these heathen countries now know who the problem is, man. They really to get rid of them. Esau has to be in subjection because Esau destroys everything. Everything do he destroy. So what I'm noticing is, Hey, these heathens don't give a damn. This dude, he know the, uh, you know, he knows a little bit about the gospel. He's, you know, they're going to be a subjection under us. He doesn't care about that. He's ready to go into slavery too. Because right now, they slaves up under Esau. All these nations are sla enslaved and in uh, bondage to Esau. And they like, nah, we need a new management. New new management. We don't want to be slaves to Esau. We want to be slaves to Yahshua Allah, Israel. Because we're going to do everything better. Everything is going to be, the animal is going to be in order. Uh, it's going to be real food, real air, you know, real medicines. Everything going to be real. And it's going to be, everything going to be decently and orderly. And the devil's going to be at the bottom. And these heathens is ready for that. They don't care. They ready to serve us. Did you hear that? In that video, they had my, he said he ready to serve us. And that right there is big and that's biblical right there. That's why I look at two-thirds like, what the hell? How can the heathen know this? And you don't. And you are of the people. But I do know why, because that's all scripture and biblical. Only a remnant going to return. Two-thirds ain't going to get it, man, because they just too damaged by this devil. So let's go to Leviticus 25 and 14. Salakia 25 and 44, which tells us that, you know, we will have the heathen as slaves. Also, Psalms 2 and 8. Uh, 
there's that alarm at. Turn that off. Now, check it out. This is Leviticus 25 and 44. Both thy bondman and thy bondmaids, which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. And of them shall ye buy bondmen and bondmaids. Moreover, of the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you, of them shall ye buy. And of their families that are with you, which they begat in your land, and they shall be your possession. And ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you, to inherit them for a possession. They shall be your bondmen forever. But over your brethren, the children of Israel, ye shall not rule over another with rigor. So right there, here they say forever. So during King David's time, King Solomon's time, we had that. We lost that because our ancestors, you know, didn't keep the laws and commandments. So do what happened? The heathen got over us. You know, that Psalms 83 kicked into play. You know, Ham, uh, Moab, Esau, all the uh, heathen nations clicked together and knocked us on off. And then we went in the service to them. Now, like the scripture said, and also Psalms 2 and 8 say, we're going to get the heathen when the kingdom of heaven get back established. We're going to get the heathen for inheritance. That's why they was born. They were born to serve us. We're going to get Hamites, uh, which is your Africans. We're going to get uh, Ishmaelites, which is your Arabs, Middle Easterns. We're going to get Moabites, which is your Chinese. And we're going to get Ammonites, which is your, your Japanese. We're going to get the four inheritance once again. You know, all the heathen nations. You know, because I didn't, I didn't mention all. I just mentioned the, the major heathen nations. You got uh, other people. That's the South America. That's heathen nations. We're going to get all of them. You know, we're going to get all of them in subjection again, according to the scriptures. What it said right there. And that's going to be a righteous thing. And they're going to, what's so good about it is that they're ready to serve us now. As you just seen in that video. They don't care, man. They just want Esau knocked off. But Esau don't know how to do nothing right. Esau is destroying everything. Like, we're not going to be in our kingdom destroying the trees and, and mowing stuff down, burning it just for the hell of it. Or genocide animals or like them chemical re refinery plants pouring poison in the water you know them south americans they all in the amazon chilling they can't chill good Here come east all these bulldozers bulldozing down all the trees which we use the trees to breathe so it's like esau he kill everything man esau like a cancer and he, he's destroying the whole earth he's destroying everything and the heathens have now gotten sick of this devil just like we're sick of this devil only people who love this devil the two-thirds the old fool leg don't like this devil. Now you see the heathens not liking this devil, man. They used to help this devil, and they reward for helping this devil. He put a foot off in their ass. You know, it's so like for my French, but that's what he did. You know, you look at Moab, Esau dropped nuclear bombs on them. Hiroshima, Nagasaki, look that up. You know, so they like, damn, I helped you destroy the, the children of Israel, and then look where you, you bombing on me. You oppressing me. You taking everything from me. You you blowing my stuff up, taking my stuff. So this devil, he didn't just stop at the nation of Israel. He was wicked to everybody. You know? You got Ham all blew up. Ham ain't even got a military, man. Ham, Ham and Huts and shit. Esau just obliviated them. Um, you look at uh the only reason Moab got nuclear nukes and got weapons and all that and do all the stuff that Esau do is they're trying to keep up with this devil so the devil don't take advantage of them. Because they know if they don't keep up this devil, they're going to get dead like him going to get dead, you know? Uh, uh, Amon, the Japanese, Ishmael, that's why he got weapons of mass destruction. He's trying to keep up and keep this devil from taking his stuff. Which the only one left is Iran. The Saudis in Iran. The rest of the Ishmael done got blew out the, out the smoke, you know, during, during that war they did in the early 2000s. So, the, these nations, man, they're sick of this devil. And they're, they're begging, you know, we begging how about y'all shot? They begging us. Like, please, get back in your steed. Get back in your power. I don't give a damn. I'm ready to be a slave to y'all, It's going to be better than what we got now. He said, we ain't going to get no freedom until y'all comes back. You know, so they going to they gonna feel like they in heaven when we in heaven. Like, shit, at least, at least I'm eating real food, sir, under y'all At least stuff in order, you know. It's better than serving under Esau, because Esau, he just suppress everything, because he don't know how to run nothing. He's like a, a big old grown child. So that right there was very biblical to me. That was very big, because the heathens, I'm sending it all across the board. Everybody's hollering for us to get back into our power. You know, and we in our state, we hear you, Ham. We trying. We over here, we prophesying. 
we on the highway and hedges, you know, the whole food leg. The majority of us ain't doing it. There's a few of us, the whole food leg. Hey, we doing it. We hear your ham. <laughs> we hear the heathens. And, hey, we, we trying, we knocking on the door. We trying to get back in good with y'all about y'all shot. We putting up these spiritual sacrifices, which goes into these lessons. And help being a helping hand to the prophets. We doing that. So I'm going to get this next to show. Because that, that precept also wraps up what we just read with Psalms 2 and 8. Them two go together. You know, that Levitics we just read, that's law right there. And it said forever. Kingdom of heaven going to be forever. And he ain't going to have a problem with that. Only person going to have a problem with that is Esau. Because that's going to be hell for him. Because Esau is contrary to righteousness. So for him to have to do righteousness, because we're going to make him do righteousness. That's where that rod of iron going to come in. And he's going to get whipped. It's going to be like acid to him. He's like, I got to eat. Eat right. I can't eat pork. I can't eat lobster. No, man. That's why all the, uh, the oceans all messed up. Land messed up. You know, they got to do the Sabbath. They got to be righteous in our kingdom. If not, hey, you know, right of iron coming to play, man. We ain't playing with these people. You know, the other nations, at the wild, you know, have to beat them down. But at the wild, they going to do it. And they going to be happy to do it. They are like, shit, it's, it's a high holy day tomorrow. Y'all better get ready. Israel don't play. So they, they going to be cool with it. And like everybody's sick of Esau because he destroys everything. And the most high told you why. Let's go to go to Sirach 10 and 3. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus 10 and 3. And it says an unwise king destroyeth his people. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. You hear that? It says an unwise king destroyeth his people. Esau is known as a child. You know, he's a children of fools. He's an unwise king. And you can see they don't do nothing right. Everything they do is, is destructive. It destroys. They pervert everything they touch. You know, they destroy everything. And then they spread their wickedness everywhere because they have the power. They're in the power seat. And these other nations like Ishmael, they just banned that light year movie in their country. Like, man, we're not showing that to our children. What the hell, Esau? Uh, Ham is sick of this devil. They're trying to kick the devil out of South Africa right now. They're over there banging with the devil now. Uh, Moab banging with the devil. Trying to keep, you know, a little bit what he got. Keep the devil up off of him. Amen. You know, even though they allied with them, they're going to turn on them. And the devil is so bad, he ain't even good to his own self. The devil up here fighting his own self. You got Western Edomites fighting Eastern Edomites. Russia and America about to bang. That's how bad it done got. That's to say, their unity is gone. They used to always be unified to do wickedness. Now we're in the stage of prophecy where they're not even unified no more. Like, they, their wickedness has been fulfilled. So they got to bang against each other. So the only thing I can tell him is, hang on, Ham. We almost there. We about to get the kingdom of heaven pretty soon. You know, he, look, he already in his steed, man. He might be a, a, a speckled bird. He might be, or he might, you know, get preserved so he can go into slavery. So he can serve uh, Yasharala because he already begging and asking for it. He asking for it. He's like, we ain't going to get nothing. No freedom, no peace until you get back in your steed, till you get back in power, man. Y'all the sons. He was up there pleading to Israel. Like, do y'all know who y'all are? Y'all are the sons and daughters of the living God, the original people. Like, how him know that? And I can't tell a two-third that. Two-third, they don't even compute with them. You know, we just got to let them lay by the wayside. They got to get their judgment, you know? And like the most I said, hey, we're going to go, uh, let's get another precept. This is why also the heathen are raging, because they see what's going on, man. They know stuff ain't right. And they see that Esau is destroying everything. And you can't have peace with, with Esau. You can't. You know, he's 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 the wicked. He's the son of perdition. Now everybody's starting to identify who the devil is. It ain't no red man to pitch for it, some dude underground. No, man, this devil's right here walking the earth every day. You see him at work. E every day you see this damn devil. And he everywhere in the earth. Like, wherever there's some wickedness, the devil, uh, the so-called white man is not far away. He's somewhere close. And he's, he's orchestrating the wickedness. Cause that's how you have about Shasha push his wickedness on the earth is through Esau, the wicked people he created. Cause he created righteousness and he created wickedness. Yashra is supposed to represent righteousness. Esau represents wickedness. And right now where we at is that wickedness has taken hold of the earth and it pushed the whole earth in darkness and wickedness. You know, with their lies, you know, and, and all the little perversion they put. The most high about to do away with that again, this time by fire. The fire they created, 
which is real ironic. And uh, we going to rule. We got next. And then we rule, everybody's going to be happy because we're going to do everything in righteousness and harmony and in order. So let me get this. This is going to go full circle. This is talking about what we just talked about. This is Revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry. The word nations going to the races. They're angry right now. Why? Because the Esau. And thy wrath is come in the time of the dead that they should be judged and that thou shouldst give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shall destroy them which destroyed the earth. That scripture said a mouthful right there. They're going to give. He just did that. We just witnessed that in that video, man. That's him giving glory and praise to the prophets and the saints and them that further name, the hopeful elect, man. He calling for the hopeful elect. He's calling for us to get back in rulership. Because why? They're destroying the earth. They're destroying everything they got over there, their precious resources. They're destroying it all. The Most High said that in due time, he would lift us up and he would destroy the ones that destroy the earth. And who's doing that? Esau, man. Digging all the oil up, taking all the resources, making nuclear waste. Like I said, if you in Tulsa, Oklahoma, drive down Riverside, you see all the refinery plants, dumping chemicals in the water. We're not going to do that in the kingdom of heaven. That's Esau doing that. And Esau can go with clean energy, but clean energy don't make a lot of money. You know, it's not a problem. Plus, he's stupid. Our people done made inventions where the earth would sustain itself in, in harmony with nature. But Esau don't care about that. He for the mighty buck, whatever make the most money. You know, we're going to go with that. Plus, Esau, when I look at Esau, Esau likes destroying things. He likes to destroy things and pervert things. They get a kick out of that. I noticed it about that devil. That's another reason why they don't put in things that's, you know, uh, beneficial for the earth or beneficial for the people. They like to see pain and suffering, really. Like, like Esau, uh, uh, what they call it, uh, uh, a sadistic or a sadist, he's that. He likes pain and suffering. He likes to uh, torture things, and he likes to oppress. That's that's in their nature. I, I see that. And the nations, they're angry, like the scripture said. And, and the wrath is going to come. Because what Ham got to realize is that the only way we're going to get rid of this devil, judgment got to come. Two-thirds got to get judged. Esau got to get judged. We need Yahweh to come here and bring that wrath. And light this place on fire. That's the only solution. Ain't no peaceful uh, solution. Ain't no reconcile with Esau. We can't coexist with Esau. It's either one or the other. And I'm ready for him to go down. He needs to be in subjection. He needs to be in, in bondage. We need rulership. That way we can govern the earth the way we're supposed to. And everything can be right. We can't have Esau in rulership and come to a piece of greedy or all that. Oh, we all get along thing. No, 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 no. Esau got to be knocked off. Only way we're going to get peace on earth. The wicked has to be in bondage. And that, that's the solution. And the solution is Yahweh Bashel Shah sending his only begotten son, which is Yahweh Shah, here to destroy them and break that sword. That's what we begging for. So we 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 heard you, Ham. We heard you, heathens. And we, we doing what we're supposed to be doing, the remnant of us that have been called by Yahweh Bashel Shah. Because like the scripture said right there, that, that goes in the hopeful leg. It says, the service of the prophets, the saints, and them that fear thy name. They're right there. Fear thy name. That name is important. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. We fear that name. And we, we begging Yahweh Bashem Shah to set us back up. So there you go. Right there. That's happening. That scripture right there is in full blown motion. The, the nations are angry. That's why we're getting ready for World War III. They're all about to bang. Because they're ready to blast on this devil. You know, the devil about to blast on itself. That's said the devil about to fight. You know, these devils ain't fought since, what, the Civil War. And what they fought over? They fought over us to keep us in slavery. And that didn't work. And now they're about to fight again. This time, we really going to get loose. Last, the Civil War, we got, you know, a little bit of freedom. We can work, you know, get some houses, well, somewhat. But this next time they fight, this big country Civil War... Oh, we really going to get loose. We're going to get, get our sovereignty back. We're going to get our kingdom. We're going to get true independence. Like I did in that last lesson. That's coming. That's on the books. So check it out with that. Let's go get this. Let's go get this. This is very profound. This next one I'm about to go get. Proverbs 29 and 2. 
And it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked birth rule, the people mourn. That's why the Hamite is mourning, man. Because the wicked are in rule. Everybody's mourning. The whole world is being destroyed because of Esau. He the one that want to do that uh, C-19 scenario and put a device in everybody. That's him doing that. You know, that's his plans. And he's doing that because he wants to extend his rulership. But he's about to be upset it when your house shall show up. That's a wrap. That's it. Ain't no more uh, mischievous plots and plans on the table for you. You're going into slavery. You know what it said? Hey, like the scripture said, when the righteous are under authority, people rejoice. The all either nations going to be happy when we're in rulership. They're not going to care that they're in slavery to us. To them, that's better than being a slavery to Esau. Because this ain't slavery to us. At least there'll be order. At least there'll be righteousness. And they're going to be pushing no uh, alphabet agenda on them. And they're going to be pushing no GMO food on them. And they're going to be pushing no drugs on them. You know, they get to breathe fresh air. Even the animals are going to be in order, man. The animals, like, the animal, we could talk to an animal. An animal can tell you, get rid of Esau. Please get rid of this, this damn Edomite, man. They destroying everything. I can't have no habitat. Uh, I can't, you know, hunt like I want to. And plus, if I show up, this devil shoot me. They hunt animals for sport. Not to eat. They go out and hunt animals to kill just for the, the thrill and the excitement, you know? So even the animals hate Esau. Everybody hating this devil right now. Everybody except the stupid two-thirds. Because they retarded. You know? So that scripture right there shows why the Hamite feels the way he feels. Because he's ready for the righteous to be in authority and rule. Because he knows it's going to be better than Esau ruling. Like he even knew we, we make all the inventions. We made all the inventions. We make the stuff that's beneficial. You know, we're the ones who's going to heal the world. We need a healing. The people are sick. Earth is sick. The animals are sick. Everything's sick on this devil's clock because he don't know what he's doing. And so the, the heathen's like, man, hey, we need new management. We need new rulers. And now the heathen start to realize who's supposed to be ruling. They're like, hold up. The people we done talked about, spit on, uh, discriminated against, hold up. They supposed to be ruling. Because really, like I said, on the bottom, we still shine. Like I said, you can look at us in sports, entertainment, the inventions we make. You can tell we the people the most high. Like, we make a dollar out of 15 cents. It's like there's nothing we can't do. We are the most gifted people on the face of the planet. And that's because we're supposed to be ruling. And so think about what we're going to do when we got rulership, when we in power. Oh, the world really going to uh, be, be glorious and beautiful. Everything going to shine. Because it's going to be up under a righteous vibration. You know, everything going to be in order. Ain't going to be pushing no alphabet agenda and pushing drugs. We don't do that. So that script is big right there. And that fits what they have my said, man. And all these heathens, everybody is, is going through it right now. Why? Because Esau's in rulership. You take Esau to rulership, put us in rulership, everything going to go smooth. Everything going to go perfect, you know. Because we, we're not dumb people. We're the most intelligent people on the face of the planet. And the most high, when I look at Yahweh Bashashah, what he's doing right now, he's taking the most intelligent of his people. That's why he said he only loved those that dwell with wisdom, according to uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7 to 28. Which, am I right on that? Let me, before I get to talking and spitting some, some crazy stuff, make sure I'm right on that. Wisdom of Solomon, uh, yep, yep, I was right on that. He only loved those that dwell with wisdom. So what Yahweh Bashashah is doing right now, he's taking the smartest of his people, the cream of the crop. Those that have wisdom. And he's going to preserve us so that we will establish the kingdom of heaven and, you know, be the first fruits and set everything in order. The two-thirds don't have wisdom. They don't have spiritual wisdom. They're dumb. Therefore, they have to get judgment and die on this side, and they got to be born back into the kingdom. Then they'll get it right. Because once they come back, everything is going to be in place for them. You know, the school's going to be in order. Uh, however we do our schools. Um... The, the markets, everything's going to be in order. You know, the clothing, fringes, ain't going to be no Jordan, Nike. It's going to be fringes again. You know, everything is going to be in place for them. And see, the two-thirds are natural-born followers. They follow whoever's in power. Esau in power, they follow after Esau, whatever he say and dictate. When we in power, they're going to follow after what we say and dictate. And so the Most High is taking the smartest people of his nation, which he put wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in them, and faith, and he's going to use us to establish the kingdom of heaven. So Hamlet's got to be patient because it's, 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 he's working a mighty work. It's happening. 
You know, all these countries about to do World War Three. You know, he just got to be patient. I understand we, we vexed too, huh? You know, we vexed too with this damn devil. You know, we, we living amongst them. So, everybody's got to be patient. Y'all about yourself doing this in, in perfect pace, uh, the perfect time. And he's going to say everything in, in his order at the right time. He's going to send your house shot. Your house shot going to get this thing right. You know? And you can see it's working. Like, he, he knows some truth. We know the truth. So that right there is power right there. Because Esau put, you know, he lied, put everything in darkness, covered the truth up. But yet we still got the truth. So that shows that order is coming into play already. It's just on a small level. But it's going to come on a big level once you have a shot get here. So first we got to get the understanding. We got to get the instructions. We got to get the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of what's going on, who we are. You know, we just waking up. It's like when you're waking up, your eyes is groggy. You know, so we got to do what? We got to wash our face, which, you know, get our mind right, get our... You know, renew our mind, brush our teeth, you know, and then we got to put our clothes on, you know, which is the whole arm of this truth right here. So that's what we doing. We we doing it, heathens. Just be patient. We got to be patient, too. We patiently waiting, too. And in right order, you how about you going to set this thing up? So I'm, I'm going to probably leave off with this right here. Let's go to Psalms because he said it. And it was also on there, too. Psalms 82 and 6. And boy, this is a mess a lot of people head up, too. Check it out. This is Psalms 82 and 6. It says, I have said, Yea, are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. It's talking about the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. You know, 144,000 going to be like gods on this earth. They're going to have special abilities, powers. That's how going to beat this devil down. You know? And check out 7. It says, But yea, shall die like men. We all done died before. We all died, been replenished. You know, uh, what's that? Reincarnation, regeneration. You know, check my lesson on that. That's that's true. That happens. And fall like one of the princes. And check out number eight. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Full circle, baby. Did you hear that? It said judge the earth. We're going to be the new judges on earth. We're going to judge everything. We're going to dictate everything. We're going to be the new council. We're going to be the new rulers. And what we going to do? Inherit all nations. All these heathens going to be subject to us and what we say do. We're not going to be celebrating 4th of July and all these holidays that Esau celebrate. No, we're going to be celebrating high holy days. We're going to be doing the Sabbath. You know, we're going to dictate. You got to turn in paperwork to us when you want to go here. Like if Ham want to do something and go over here, you got to come check in with, you know, Yasharala. You got to check in with our officials. We got set up. Do your paperwork and then we're going to stamp and say, okay, you can have this. You can go there. You know, we're going to tell Moab, you know, what you can have and what you can do. We're going to tell Ishmael what you can have and what you can do. All the nations are going to be subject to us, and they're going to like it. Our system is going to be way better than Esau's. Way better. And then Yashrala really going to love it because we're going to be balling out of control in chariots. We're going to be riding no old broke down, messed up cars that, you know, break down after, you know, a couple months. Need maintenance all the time. We're going to be in chariots. Man, we're going to have, like, universal rulership. We're going to be going to different planets, ruling over there, setting stuff up. This thing about to be universal. We're going to be able to navigate the heavens. So this thing going to be big. And down here on the planet Earth, man, ain't a damn heathen going to dare go against our rulership, man. Because we're going to have them, them gods on Earth. The 144,000. And plus, the heathen at the wild, they're going to love serving under us. I'm like, man, that's a good system, man. I got what I need. Uh, everything's in order. I'm cool with this. You know, especially the heathen still remember, like, man, this is better than when Esau was ruling. <laughs> you know? Things are a whole lot better. Peace on earth. Earth going to be back in this beautiful state. You probably going to see plants we ain't seen for years come back. Animals we ain't seen for years come back. You know, everybody going to be able to live peacefully. Ain't going to have to do no war no more. Worry about, oh, is Esau going to come over here with some guns and get to shooting me up? Am I going to get gunned down the streets? You ain't worry about that no more in our kingdom. So everybody is going to love it when we're in rulership. And the heathens already calling for it, man. They begging for it. And that is spiritual. And I just want to do that right there to show you that, hey, it's that time, man. The heathens are ready for us to rule. We ready to rule. <laughs> we are ready to rule. We are ready for the kingdom. And it's coming soon. We just got to patiently do what we need to do and patiently wait for it. We already, you know, if you're in this truth, listen to these lessons, you're already on the right track. So continue. That's like, like the scripture says, you got to endure to the end. And dirt to the end, you know, keep the faith. So that be said, I hope it's been edifying.
Kwame Yashirala, DTA Baba Bob. Shalom.